Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. An ex-army second lieutenant was sentenced to death for a war crime he was believed to have committed. Billy Cohen quickly became a person of interest to Star's Bravo team, who had been sent to investigate some murders on the outskirts of Raccoon City. As Bravo team began falling victim to Umbrella's bioweapons, however, Star's member Rebecca Chambers now found herself in a situation where she and Billy must work together to escape the nightmare they now found themselves in. After cooperating with Rebecca and her finding out he was falsely accused of the war crime that would have originally led to his execution, he actually comes across quite the opposite of what we are led to believe he is like at the start of the game, and I think seeing more of him later on in the series would have been welcomed by most fans. By the end of the game though, there are still many things we don't know about Billy Cohen, and it doesn't help that he is never mentioned again after the events of Zero. No files or references in any other Resident Evil game tell us where he is and what he might be doing. It's a question that's gone unanswered for nearly 20 years. In this video I want to talk about what might have happened to him after Resident Evil Zero. Remember though that these are just theories, we can't really say for certain what has actually happened to him. One theory is that Billy was and maybe still is in hiding. It's likely no one is trying to hunt him down anymore due to the fact that after Resident Evil Zero, Rebecca wrote a report stating that Billy had died. As far as anyone was concerned, Billy was no longer an issue. We even see that Rebecca holds onto Billy's dog tags as proof of his apparent death. My only issue with this theory, however, is the question of where were Billy going to hide in. As there's no information on his whereabouts at the time, it's really hard to say, but we can almost say for certain that he never went to the Spencer Mansion, as there's no sign of him there in Resident Evil 1. Even though we can see at the end of Resident Evil 0 that both him and Rebecca weren't massively far away from the mansion after escaping the Arclay treatment plant, and we know it would have been possible for him to get there because Rebecca made a way there after Zero, but after seeing what happened at the mansion incident, it's probably best that he didn't. Now obviously, if there's a chance that Billy is still alive, there's also a chance that he's already dead. Wherever he decided to go, he would have had to travel through the Arclay Mountains, and knowing that he was close to Spencer Mansion at the time, it's quite possible he encountered the same Cerberus that attacked Alpha Team at the start of Resident Evil 1. While he does have fine experience with both being in the military and now having to kill various types of BOWs, he's not invincible, and it doesn't look like he's well armed during the end cutscene. Even if he did survive, he'd have to travel somewhere far away. Eventually word would get out that the transportation vehicle that was transporting Billy to the Ragathon base for execution never actually made it there, which would likely cause the authorities to carry out an investigation into his whereabouts. And for that reason, it wouldn't be smart for Billy to reside in Raccoon City until Rebecca had filed that report. If Billy did decide to do that, however, it's possible that he never would have survived the destruction of Raccoon City that happened two months later. With the detonation at such scale, he could have been one of the 100,000 people that died during its annihilation. Let's say Billy Cohen is still alive. There's still the question of what he's doing now, and there is one possibility I can think of, and it might be a way for Capcom to bring him back into the series. And that theory is that Billy is now working with the BSAA. There isn't really a whole lot of evidence I can use to back up this claim, so I should make it clear that the chance of this being the case is very slim. We know that Rebecca now works as an advisor for the BSAA, so it would be possible that she recommended Billy as an operative. It would probably mean though that he would be using an alias because of Rebecca's report stating that he was dead. There would only be a couple of people that know his true identity as Rebecca might have to give reasoning on why she's recommended Billy to work for them, and that would likely explain him that they worked together during Resident Evil Zero and he now has combat experience with BOWs. While this could be the case, he could easily turn down the offer in the hope that he can live a more peaceful life. Not everyone that has had to encounter these horrific creatures is going to be wanting to put themselves in danger again. Either way, whether Billy is working alone, using a new identity, or has been dead for a long time, I doubt we'll ever get an answer. As I said at the start of the video, it's been nearly 20 years, and I doubt Capcom's priority currently for the series is bringing back an old character who appeared for a single game, and has yet to pop up since. Thanks for watching the video. I'll be creating more videos based around the lore of Resident Evil, so if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing.